MetaMask is the world's number one crypto wallet being used right now. Now they are starting to track users' IP addresses. What does that mean and why are they doing it? It's amazing how fast some of this news can catch like wildfire on crypto Twitter. Morning, morning. Welcome to the Crypto Market Summary. Uh, looking like today there is a little bit of an uprising on Twitter. We're looking at MetaMask. This guy here, Digital Lawrence, did, uh, did a little bit of a thread considering all the alternatives to MetaMask. So MetaMask, there's first Get Block Wallet, self-proclaimed privacy-focused wallet. There's a Trust Wallet. I've used them before. Um, I don't remember why. I think it was when I was first getting into it. There's XDeFi Wallet. Never heard of it. OX Frame. That's been pretty popular here since, uh, since the start of all this MetaMask trending. Um, so that I'm, I'll post this into the links. Uh, if you like this channel, hit that subscribe button. It's somewhere in over here. Um, well, that's the link to the channel, but, uh, here, look at, look at this. So there's, they did a survey. Trust wallet was the number one out of that one. And then there's a whole bunch more here. So <clears throat> now the problem that we're seeing with MetaMask is that they use Infura. Infura is... Inferia is a node. So basically, this is a, a one version of uh, what we see here. So basically, you start here, you send, you send some ETH. The transaction gets, you send it, you sign it. It goes into your node, the standard node, or I guess the node that starts with MetaMask is Infura. There's, this is a Mu node, so this is someone else's. It's just an article I pulled up. And then it goes through the whole blockchain, right? So it goes into the meme, the, the meme pool, the mem pool, and then it picks up the transaction, gets con gets confirmed, and gets uh, placed on the blockchain to the data layer. So there is a whole bunch of different ones that you can use, but the standard is Infura. But apparently they're making it not tough to send, to change it from Infura, like MetaMask. So this guy did a pretty good breakdown of just showing down what happens and what data is sent without even having a wallet. So basically he opens up, doesn't even have a wallet in there and there's no accounts yet, but there's already data. Looks like there's an ETH call to this address for a balance checker. So there's a whole bunch of stuff going on um, once the once MetaMask is, is installed. However, on the flip side, uh, Edward Snowden, famously known for a lot of different things, very vocal on Twitter, and he didn't have a lot of nice things to say with this, but then uh, MetaMask representatives did get back to them. He said, hi, please understand that Inferia is part of the same company as MetaMask, and is the terms update is just hyper-specific per the GDPR, which is the Euro... Uh, Euro regulations because of how the cloud in Furo works. We do our best to minimize storage, but being transparent of how it is today. So he's like, thanks for helping or thanks for asking, but does Infura consensus or anybody else get data, getting data flows from MetaMask now or have they ever retained users' wallet addresses? Yes, some accounts have been cached. So there's a lot of information in here um, that, uh, and basically they're saying that there is no data deals with MetaMask. So it's interesting, he's, you know, Edward Snowden, I'm told by MetaMask that they're working on a response to the question, um, wallet slash IP records should never be retained or shared. So the it continues, this is part of regulation, just be aware of it, they're, um, just be aware of it. You get, there's, there's, a lot, there's always something changing, make sure you stay tuned to this, to this podcast. This uh, this YouTube channel, we're always talking about what's coming up on crypto Twitter, and you're gonna see the the news in the at right 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 as it happens. So hit that subscribe. I'm gonna transition over here to the crypto market summary. Uh, should be a little bit of a short one here today. Nothing too exciting, except I'm hearing a little bit of a little bit of a details about a NFT bull market. Or a mini bull is what they're saying. I don't know. B and B's pumping again. Holy, I, that's crazy. Uh, Eight hundred. So market caps up a little bit here, over uh, ten billion dollars ish. What's going on in shit coins? I don't know if there was any good memes lately. I thought there was a couple. Um, yeah, Elon phone. I knew it. That's the one I was thinking. So Elon mentioned that uh, he might build a phone if Twitter gets taken off the Apple and uh, Android. Store, uh, what do you call it? App store, crazy. <laughs> so that turned into a meme. 
that's pretty good. I don't know what the Alpha Society is. A whole bunch of stuff still in there. What's going on over here? $8.8 million in BNB, FIFA, 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 Nitro, Bull Return. Oh, there we go. That was started nine hours ago. So a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Still pretty low. Still pretty low. What are we doing in the marketplaces here? 351,000 sold. What the hell? What's going on there? $5 million? That's crazy. What's uh, the rest of the world doing here? Blur. Open seas at 7 million, so nothing really to write home about. Blur is there, so that's pretty high for them. They, like I said, I think they got some stuff coming up. Um, looks rare. And X2Y2. What do we have? We're at a 20 million. Damn. It's been two weeks since we've been at 20 million. Almost green across the board. Open seas real close. Mini bull run coming up, I hear. Interesting. I wouldn't mind bringing up my NFTs that I purchased. What are we looking at here in the macro? Oil prices are coming down. The gas price came down. Natural gas. European, yeah, okay, so we're looking at a little bit of a relief on energy prices and commodities. Bonds, yeah, that's still, they're coming down barely, but they're, it's still super steep. Uh, let's get into the ENS. What's going into the old ENS here? Let's take Gander. ENS, 1.42. Damn, that's coming up too. I'm wondering what's going to go on here once we put all this in. So let's see what f I seen that rug radio was doing pretty decent. Um, they're back to point five. Let's just take a look. So let's rip through here. So the big thing is board apes flipped crypto punks again. That battle is going. We had some issues with some data in the last couple of days, but it uh, looks like it's all back and running. Um, Cyber Kongs. Well, what's going on here? So, mutants. Oh, they're at 13. I'm. Ah, oh, I knew it. Why didn't I just buy? Because I'm not good at this. Clones. Mutants at 13. Oh, that's pain. These, uh, Abe coins come in, I guess. Proof. Cool cats. What do we got here? Cyberkong VX is 0.5. Rug Radio is at 0.42. I don't know. I thought they were at 0.5, but maybe they sold off in the pump. Ether Orcs there. So those guys are just doing a little bit of stuff. Consortium Key AC is coming down a little bit. Probably due to the uh, downwards trend in this volume of shit coins. But there we have it. That's what we're looking at. So let's keep an eye peeled for some of this NFT stuff here. Uh, be interested to see what's going on. Take care.